Wait, what is that? Oh, collagen's my baby. You want some? Collagen? Why? I mean, everyone's raving about collagen right now. I saw Kourtney Kardashian taking collagen supplements. You know, there's still lack of evidence, and we don't know for sure if the collagen supplementation or powders are going to increase your skin collagen, right? Wait, for real? Huh. And especially that one, that one's animal derived. We don't know if it's sustainably made or sourced. Can I just waste 30 bucks on this? We can watch Leah's YouTube video. She's going to rewind collagen supplements, so she may be able to tell us the truth about collagen supplements. So let's go. Yeah, let's go. It's actually been proven to help with energy levels and even appetite, hair, skin, and nails. Do collagen supplements work to make your skin tighter? And the answer is absolutely not. Don't believe the naysayers, collagen does work. Okay, I think it's safe to say that every other celebrity right now is taking collagen supplements to preserve and maintain their youth. And I'm reaching my mid-30s and I'm definitely interested in preserving this youth, the skin bounciness and firmness for as long as possible. But I know for a fact that our collagen is breaking down each and every Every day. As you age, you're losing 1% of collagen every single year. So it kind of makes sense to replenish it by taking collagen supplements, right? But first, let's learn what collagen even is. So collagen is the protein that's found in the connective tissues of human body, including the skin, bones, tendons, and cartilages. There are mainly five types of collagen. And the type one collagen is something that we want to remember for this video. It's a type of collagen that decides the elasticity and firmness of your skin, your nail and hair health. You can easily find a collagen supplement in your local drugstore. It's available in a variety of forms, powders, liquid, gel, pills, tablets, and in gummies. So let's take a look at how collagen supplements are made because the sourcing of where the collagen supplements actually come from is what makes this entire topic so interesting fascinating and almost controversial so the raw materials of collagen supplements mainly come from two sources one animal derived two vegan so when you look at the animal derived collagen supplements it's mainly bovine and porcine collagen which is beef and pork collagen it's also been shown that the age of the animal also determines and influences the degree of solubility of the collagen that means the collagen supplement industry favors a collagen source from the young animals because of the solubility there's another source of animal derived ingredients called marine animal. This can include a bunch of different fishes, marine mammals, sea urchin, octopus, and jellyfishes. Marine collagen has some data showing that it's more easily absorbed to human body because of its lower molecular weight and also it has a lower chance of inflammatory responses from your body and low number of contaminants as well. So technically animal derived collagen comes from byproducts of the meat industry. So some can say that the environmental impact is pretty low because it's upside the waste. However, there's new information that was released saying that the collagen craze is actually driving deforestation in Brazil. Apparently, what we call the byproduct is more lucrative than the actual meat itself. What I see as one of the myths of collagen, this framing of it as a byproduct. If you take a step back and look at a more global perspective, there are examples of animals being slaughtered exclusively for the purpose of their collagen. Insert donkey high gelatin, which is made from the collagen sourced from donkey's skin. Now, the spike in demand of this donkey high gelatin has been driving the decrease in donkey's population and also a significant increase in donkey's thefts because this is a very profitable and lucrative business. As for vegan collagen or plant-based collagen, I'm sad to tell you, it simply doesn't exist. Now, you would see a lot of plant-based collagen like this, you will also see a label saying collagen booster, not the actual collagen, because plants don't have collagen. They don't produce collagen. One of the things that you know we see all the time out in the market are things that are sort of positioned as like collagen boosters or like plant collagen, and that's like not real. It's not. It's like not. It's not collagen. It's uh, it's it's not protein. It can be like vitamin C positioned as a collagen booster. The next step of collagen supplement making would be extracting the actual collagen substance from all the raw materials. This step will include the boiling, cooling, solidifying, and extracting the gel-like collagen substance, and then it'll go into purifications to just filter out all the impurities and potential contaminants. This purified collagen will then be in a very concentrated form, and that will be then 
and dried and powdered and then it'll be packaged into all sorts of different forms of collagen supplements. At this point you're probably wondering, so do collagen supplements work for your skin or not? Just get straight to the point, Leah. And that's what I've been wondering too. So we researched tons and analyzed a lot of data and studies available out there that studied the correlation between collagen supplementation and the impact on the skin's health. All the research materials will be available exclusively for the channel members, so check out the channel membership down below in the link in bio. You'll get access to all the behind the scenes interviews as well. I want to share this study because this is actually really interesting. There was a double blind placebo controlled study where it ingested collagen supplements for women in the age of 35 to 55. One group was placebo, another group was actually taking collagen supplements, and the group who took collagen supplements have seen improvement in skin elasticity. It's so interesting because after four weeks of discontinuing and taking off the collagen supplementation, the people in the age of 30s and 40s, their skin elasticity came down to the baseline. So it kind of decreased again, but only in the group of over 50 year olds have seen significant improvement in their skin elasticity even after four weeks of discontinuing the treatment. It said 98% of the effects stayed after discontinuing the treatment. So I think this is to say that maybe collagen supplements work for a certain age or above 50 years old in this case. Okay, you probably might be wondering now, what do I do to increase my collagen level for the skin? So if you're taking collagen supplements and you're already seeing the benefits, improvement in your skin, hair, nail, joints, keep taking it. If you're not seeing any results, that's also fine. There's no harm in taking collagen supplements at the moment. And if you're determined to take collagen supplements, it's very, very, very important for you to look for third-party testing labels. That's either certified by USP, NSF or Consumer Lab. And this is important because in the United States, FDA doesn't regulate supplements as drugs. It's governed and regulated by the food department, which basically doesn't hold any of these supplement companies accountable, which is why you'll see a lot of contamination issues and safety issues. The supplement companies basically don't need to get approval for the label. So aside from third-party testing labels and certifications, look for a clearly traceable ingredient. Ask the brand, ask the company that you're buying the collagen supplement from where their collagen comes from. As we know, the vital protein collagen, the main supplier of this is deforesting the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. So I would probably not go with that, but there might be other companies that are using the same manufacturer, the same supplier. And if the brand doesn't know, that's also a red flag. I would also look for hydrolyzed collagen for better absorption and better digestion. With that in mind, there's actually new forms of synthetic collagen that are being developed in the lab at the moment. So Alex's company, Geltor, is fermenting plant sugars. What we do isn't all that different from brewing, but instead of brewing beer or wine, we're brewing a protein. And Geltor's vegan collagen is not a collagen booster. It's actually an exact match to the collagen that is found in the animal proteins. When we compared the product that we were producing to animal collagen, we found that there were 73% less water used in the process, 40% less land, and about 50% less uh, CO2 emitted. If you're skeptical about supplements, definitely skip it. It's not for everyone. But with skincare, I would highly encourage you to wear sunscreen every single day because UV rays is the number one stressor in destructing the collagen. Vitamin C, especially ascorbic acid, is going to be an amazing ingredient to incorporate to stimulate collagen production. So is vitamin A, aka retinol, which is the number one ingredient when it comes to reversing signs of aging and stimulating the collagen production. Last but not least, we have glycolic acid, which is a chemical exfoliator which pushes your skin turnover. It's known to also promote collagen production as well. When it comes to lifestyle, definitely manage your stress and get good sleep and exercise and make sure that you eat antioxidant rich food to protect your body and just to preserve the integrity of all your skin cells. Maybe avoid sugar. I know it's hard for a lot of people out there, but sugar can really weaken collagen and the elastin fibers. If you have some spare coins, definitely visit your dermatologist or licensed esthetician to get a microneedling done. Microneedling is basically a minimally invasive treatment that promotes wound healing activity and the wound healing is basically done by your skin just generating and producing more collagen. Laser treatments like all therapy can also work as well. So that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this rewinding collagen supplements episode. If you're curious about how your Vaseline, your perfume, your sheet mask are made, check out the rewinding 
series playlist right here. Let me know if you're taking any collagen supplements down below in the comment box and share your experience with others. I would love to know. Thank you so much once again for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.